Hey guys, welcome to another little listen up. Pro teachers do. Today we have with me Jared. I'm feeling blue. <laughs> and funny enough, we're going to be going over and I brought, I went back some of our old episodes. I brought this up once about us covering us, and we're now getting to it. The electric blue. Now, funny <laughs> enough, Tristan and I went over the wedding special. I offered the Jared, and it was like, no. Nah. Robert, do you really think it's a good idea to put me on the on the episode where you talk about the marriage of Lo- of Lois Lane and Superman? <laughs> See, you that, you that's how that would go. You always seen the roller coaster with Lois. There are times where you acknowledge her, and there's times where you completely say she's worthless. I don't say she's worthless. I just say she does. She's not as central as Superman as people think she is. At, but anyway, at least in my but, opinion. Then I offered him Electric Blue. You guys want to know the funny thing is. Jared, tell them what I revealed to you recently. Well, first off, I actually have this, but I haven't read it yet. So this will be actually really funny about this. But and what, what did I reveal? I forget. You want to remind me on that? There's only a few issues after the, the wedding. Literally. This yeah. issue is two issues after the wedding. This is nice, like right dude, after in, the in honeymoon. nice chronological order. By the way, what does it say that I'd rather cover electric blue Superman than the wedding? <laughs> What does that say? But, but <laughs> you're gonna have to deal with some um, newlywed Lois and Clark. Is no! that gonna be a little... See, that's my point. I hate the to... terror of Superman. <laughs> oh, I just realized I didn't have the light on. Hold on. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, so we're gonna be de- de- going over. First, we're going over because we're going within the trade, the Superman transform trade, um, yeah. which I have signed by Tom Grummet and uh, Ron Friends. Lucky. Um, we're going to be going first over the power struggle, because by this point, Superman had lost his powers mm-hmm. after final night. Okay. You know, Sun, Sun Eater came, ate the sun, Parallax sacrificed himself to reignite it. But mm-hmm. then for some reason, Superman still didn't have his powers. Okay. Even by the wedding, which brought things full circle, because when Clark first pr- proposed to Lois, he didn't have his powers then either. Mm-hmm. That's fake, that story where he first proposed. Yeah, he had lost his powers thanks to um, uh, Mixie giving Lex a pseudo red kryptonite. Wasn't it's real kind of red funny kryptonite. how he keeps losing his powers when he's that significant relationship go, uh, moments with Lois Lane. Uh, it, 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 it's more of a case where, again, them reigniting it happened by happenstance. And because, let's be honest, you, you all acknowledge they were for, the editor was forced to speed it along. I'm sure they would have come up with things a little bit differently. Because I, I think the way the story goes is that they had like tons of stories planned, but then yep. they're like, throw that out. We have to do the wedding. Which is ironic because like, we're going to do the wedding. Throw it out. We, got, we can't do the wedding. And then yeah, that yeah. gave us the death. Yeah. But here we're going to deal with Superman regaining his powers for the first four issues. But this is essential to him, reg- um, the electric blue. I'm excited. Let's do this. Yep. And here, now this, by this point, this is the... Post zero hour legion. Okay. Just want to make that clear. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But look at this. Superman's standing right out there. And then we see now by this point, Perry has cancer. Okay. So he's going in and out with um, chemo. Mm-hmm. So this is during one of the times where he's stopping by to visit. Don't know what to tell you, Mr. White. Went up to the roof to do some repair work on account of all that snow that melted up there. And I see him. Didn't even hear me when I asked him what he was doing. Sure, you sure it was him? Oh, yeah. Didn't know he had such a build on him, either. Guess those suits and glasses usually make him, I don't know, weaker. Except he usually wears sweaters and all that. Yeah. Uh, where? There he is. Great, Caesar's ghost. Clark. Oh, yeah, yeah, under the globe. I mean, Clark, what What are you doing up here? Sunbathing. Uh, yeah, see, if you're asking me, the man's contemplating jumping. I hardly think that's the case, uh, Johnson. Clark. Something wrong? Very, uh, guess I was lost, lost in thought. How do I explain that I'm up here waiting for the sun to rejuvenate my powers? Sure you, uh, shirtless. You, uh, well, here's, a, here's, a, here's an explanation. You uh, know that I grew up in Kansas. Yes. Well, if there's anything I enjoyed, it was the warmth of the sun as I stood in the middle of Paul's wheat field. <laughs> I missed the sun so much while it was blacked out. They just wanted to recapture the feeling. Though it does feel good after all we went through. Still, it is rather unorthodox. Understood, Perry. Hey, hey, that not bad for sure. A quick, you know, lie. 
Uh, honestly, yeah, I, I, I'm about to. I was about about to say, well, that the, that kind of makes Perry look stupid that he bought that. But then now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, okay, no, you know it makes what? sense. It, when you're a farm boy, you have some of these weird type of things. Okay, th that makes sense. That's and it makes funny. sense. It, Still. It, it, that's that's it'd be kind of funny if uh, if th that's the way Clark like uh, starts all of his excuses. He's like, well, I was on the farm. Right, right. But at least he now still is unorthodox. So it's like, yeah. Yep. But anyway, how are you feeling? I'm not one to complain, Clark. But those Kibo treatments, boy, I sure wish the sun would could solve my problems. But I probably just get skin cancer on top of everything else. Good to hear you haven't lost your sense of humor, Perry. It's hard, Clark. Real hard. Finding this damn lung cancer is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It's got me so worn out, so mentally and physically exhausted that there are, there are times when I wonder if it's worth it. But I've got to fight for Alice, for my son Keith. He adopted Keith. Remember that black kid from Death of Superman? Yeah. He, they, he and Alice adopted him. Okay, that, that's, re that's who he's referring to. Yep. For this paper, for everyone who needs me and depends on me. It's just so hard to find the strength. I'm afraid, Clark. Afraid of letting people down. Leaving them alone. You're the strongest man I know, Perry. An inspiration to us all. Well, right now we have to be inspired to meet with the ad advertising department. Put, uh, put off your sun tanning session for another time and shake a leg, Clark. I'll be there in a minute, Perry. You know, this would also be a great place if they wanted to put, like, I know this is take place before the story, but th this would also be a great place to slot in the old, you are so much stronger th 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 than you think you are line from All Star. Right, right. But uh, I gotta say, Friends really does capture Jurgen style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Doesn't he does. Mm -hmm. Boy, do I feel like a jerk. I'm standing up here feeling sorry for myself because I, my powers haven't returned. At least I'm healthy. That's more than Perry can say. Part of me almost welcomes being powerless. To live a normal life with, with Lois as my wife. But just as Perry has people depending on him, I have a world depending on Superman. To do his job, Perry has to overcome cancer. To do mine, I must regain my powers. One way or another, we both must fly again. It's now, cool. this is where we have Cont the Contessa, who is um, secretly married to Lex, and we find out she's pregnant, which okay. would eventually lead to Lena Luthor. Okay, that's what... what who's, who's currently... A, who was brought back recently? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the starting point of all that. And that's one of the other reasons why I wanted to show this, because this will play out throughout most of the Electric Blue. Yeah. But yeah, it's like, yeah, he finds out you're going to be a father. He's speechless. Like, I don't know what to say. Fine. I don't want to discuss it anyway of all the time. Luther here. There they, yeah, the um, Legion are trying to break in because currently they are stuck in the past. Mm. So they're trying to find some way. So going into um, Lex's, Lex's um, you know, um, science department. So, of course, mm -hmm. they all have on their... Um, Legion flight rings when they're and which when they're not flying can you be have force fields? Okay. Hence why you know Brainiac's being shot at and nothing. Mm -hmm. They use all their weapons. They take them all down and uh, they say, "Don't call me Brady." Well, well. Again, we meet. Explain your presence here before I turn my building's entire arsenal on you. An arsenal undoubtedly controlled by that primitive control pad. Spark, consider it gone. Insolent brat. Uh, look, everyone, calm down. We need some tech assistance. And Brainiac 5 assured us your facilities were the best in this area. So what? Why should I help you? Uh, right, quite an achievement, considering the usual collection of sticks and um, balling wire you're forced to work with. But yeah, we all work together to beat the Sun Eater, right? We came from far away, and we need help getting home. Do I look like a travel agent to you? Go to the airport. Though I do suggest you fly Lex Air. Bloody Nass. As I, if only we hadn't tripped the alarm. You didn't. I did. Superman. I presume you have a worthwhile explanation for invading my office? I'd hardly call it an invasion, Luther. It's how I could sneak into a space hangar undetected. But without my powers, it's impossible. Better tell him something. It's an emergency, Luther, and the solution requires your assistance. You're asking me for help again? This is rich. Referencing Superman aliens! Yeah, there you go. Some months ago, I used a ship from your space platform to locate a city lost in space. So that is still canon. Wait, so technically xenomorphs exist in the DC universe. They're just—I don't think they're as spread out though as um, 
as people as people you know as it is in other universes. But that is just so cool. Yep. Uh, by Court Luther, he's lying. I can feel it in my bones. He needs my ship. But why? As of this moment, Superman, you have my you have unfettered access to my space facility. I shall also accompany you to assist in your studies, of course. That won't be necessary, Luther. The Legionnaires have already agreed to help me. But Benny, shush. I'm picking up strange vibration from Superman, as if he's desperate and trying to hide it. I defer to your telepathy, Saturn girl. Understood. But of course, Superman, shall we begin? But I, I even says, um, uh, liar and liars, but I dare not call their bluff. My space grip is at your disposal. Again, Jerkins really handles Lex very well. Mm -hmm. I right, look, this appears to be an unfinished antimatter converter, Luther. Given a day or two, I could complete it for you, despite the lack of quality materials. A day or two? I've been working on that for 13 years. If you could teach me, gladly, the challenge of building an operable device out of tissue paper would be quite. Not now, Brainy. Superman's waiting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so basically, this really reveals about his powers and everything. And again, Brainy's kind of like, but it's so prim. Oh, all right. So they're trying to figure out ways to help him. So they're thinking about actually shooting the solar energy right into him as an amplifier, using all their abilities. And well, doesn't go well. Mm -hmm. So they're able to help him get out of the way and stop it all, making it way back there, and it's a failure. Of course, I get the feeling something up there has affected Superman. If that's the case, perhaps I could use this to my advantage. Oh, dear. Lex is conniving. Of course he is. This then leads into... Um, this is Carl Kessel with Paul Ryan guest penciling. Paul Ryan will eventually take over on one of the titles. I don't remember which. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Guys being mugged. So Superman goes up a fire escape and then jumps down and attack Oh, him. to make it look like he's flying. Okay, that's cool. Your, uh, your turn. Five words. Faster than a speeding bullet. No way, man. You stay there. You're not going to hurt me. Don't count on it. Scrick. He scrapped his knuckles. Don't move. Not my idea. I swear there's those old videos I did. Huh? Was that supposed to scare me? My mother throws better than that. Harder, too. That was a warning. Next time I don't miss. Next time I use all my strengths. Guess what happens? Don't want to know, man. Don't want to find out. Glad you hear, I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> and he's just holding them there like, oh, I got them. Again, I, I love, love this, though, how Superman, even, he's been doing this even leading up to the, during the wedding special, been trying to do what he can even without it. Mm-hmm. But of course, the guy wants to shake his hand, but Superman can't. And look at that woman. She's like, oh, like, oh, too good for him. Mm -hmm. But it turns out he doesn't want him to see the scrap knuckles. Okay, I see. Again, makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of this is like, it shows how intelligent Superman actually is. Yeah, because he also knows, like, they see even scrap knuckles. I'm supposed to be invulnerable. Mm -hmm. Yep, and, oh, by, now by this point, um, Jimmy is um, Mr. Man of Action for WGBS. And mm -hmm. Lex is going in to try going to court mm -hmm. for, for various, uh, yeah, for that, like, yeah, is he a murderer or the man who saved the world? Also, this is Lori Lamaris, who unfortunately thinks to Jimmy, although they have, they have buried the hatchet by this point, through miscommunication, people think, because remember, she's an archaeologist. They thought she was secretly, illegally stealing stuff. Wait, is she the one that's a mermaid? Yes. Oh, wow. Now, she's staying at Clark's old apartment, because he and Lois had just moved, moved into theirs, and he still has, you know, some payments left on this one. Question, if she's a mermaid, where's her tail? Only when she's in the water. Oh, it's only in the water. Okay, that, that makes sense, I guess. Yep, but the contestant's coming up there and trying to just to make a deal for information. Like, because it turns out the lawsuit, her manipulation. She's doing this all to get back at, to get at Lucer. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it turns out Superman's gone there to meet up with Cadmus. Again, why? Trying to get, the, uh, trying to do something to help with his powers. Anything. Great, 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 great. Help it, Newsboy Legion. Oh boy. Um, oh, apparently then this guy here feel like um a guy named and the monster called Anomaly 
still not sure. I'm not sure about this whole thing. Mm-hmm. But he's a guy who was cloned from a murderer who's trying to be a good man. Okay, that, that's cool. Yep. So yeah, they're trying to study him, and then we see yeah, this woman's made a comment. My watching Superman experience pain is fascinating. Wouldn't it be unfortunate if he never regained his powers? Highly mm-hmm. improbable, she know. In his weakened, more human state, any number of factors could be inhibiting his absorption of solar radiation. But then all of a sudden, all this happens. We're introduced to um, um, the, you know, the 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 uh, the Harrys, um, and which who are these? You know, people from another dimension, um, and they're trying to find her da- their daughter, Misa, mm-hmm. who is a rebellious, you know, brat. Mm-hmm. Um, they even said, like, I had a run in with her, and she really, uh, and if she's really run away, she could be miles from here or not. Misa matches description I've heard of a recent, highly elusive intruder at Cadmus. She's been messing around at Cadmus and everything. Of course, her parents then said she has a strong will, and perhaps her accelerated growth was a mistake, wasn't as wise as they thought. And so turns the, out, so they kind of gave her, her her the Clone Wars treatment where they have accelerated go- growing. Well, ex- except she was naturally conceived, just accelerated growth. Okay. But yeah, it turns out she's messing with everything, doing this holographic work, uh, work and everything. And then um, she's just, I love this, like, Jude says, all the world needs is love. Well, I say, let it bleed. I believe yeah, we I get your that. point, young lady, but we will suit it up. All Honestly, is- I like the coloring on her, the way it kind of oh, the hologram, That's really yeah. cool. That's yeah. really cool. Yep. Now, here's would have alerted Miss Lamaris to questionable legalities of her fines under normal circumstances, but I've been ordered to buy and sell in the black market and encourage Miss Lamaris' activities by Lex Lewis and lies. These are a complete fabrication. Mr. Lucer, please. Yes, counsel. Remind Mr. Luther the court has records verifying this witness testimony. I sought to defend his action during the Sun Eater situation, indicating he was a changed man. I should point out, also, by this point, Lex's clone body had degenerated. Okay. And, and that's when he then almost destroyed uh, Metropolis. But then he eventually reawoken, and um, after making a deal, was Neuron. To get, and by to the clone a- body, you mean the, the uh, redhead, right? Yes, that's okay. why he's back to... It is still the clone body, but thanks to Neuron, it's pretty much a normal human body. Okay. That no sense. more clone degeneration. <laughs> so now he, he's being put under house arrest, and this is where the contestants like, come in to gloat, Erica. Don't you think I know this is all you're doing? What did I ever do for you to be framed like this? Can't a wife support her husband, even if their marriage is secret? Of course, you're under a lot of stress. You don't mean what you're saying. You can never prove one word of it. I'm sure your legal dream team will successfully pull you from this within nine months. It appears that both our lives will be disrupted by the birth until the birth of our child. So she's just trying to screw with him. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, Superman breaks up. He doesn't really have his powers back. It's because of the virtual world. Okay. So right now he's giving all of the ability, helps him out, then he, um, overloads the system by zapping Misa. And everything seems to go back to normal. Um, mm-hmm. Chino then says, uh, uh, the power surge, or the method power surge, all of your, um, the scan data was devastated. Mm-hmm. But then it turns out, and then he uses the whiz wagon to head, um, to head up to um, the fortress. Oh, God, this is great. Yep, but it turns out, Chino wasn't there. She was in R&D 4 for a while. Turns out that was Misa in disguise. Oh, okay. So she caused the glitch just to mess with Superman. Mm-hmm. Yeah, messing up the test on Superman, share with a trip. And since Jude Dude thinks he's so groovy, I'll have to do stuff like that more often. Yeah, she's a hippie, a, a bratty hippie type speaking type of girl. Okay. Oh, and yeah, this is then what the stuff was anomaly, mm-hmm. which eventually would lead into um, um, the revenge squad, which we don't need to go over. Now, okay. this one issue is the only one that's not on DC Universe. Wow. I don't know why. But yeah, Superman ends up crashing and then he meets up with um a, a, a scientist from nearby. We then see a bit mm-hmm. of Perry and um with his chemotherapy saying he's gonna have another, another treatment. But although he says it this early could be sick, sick, uh, fatal, but cancer in your liver or pancreas would be would mm-hmm. be. So he's saying it could be, but if we don't do anything, it will kill you, and the cancer will okay. kill you. So it's basically take a risk of dying. Or 
die. The character, or die. Hmm. That makes like, sense. So yeah, he's meeting up with these scientists and we see that um, some sentient electricity had come about because they dug through and found it. Um, mm-hmm. Basically, it's like, sorry if I gave you false hope because unfortunately, yeah, he's not able to do much to help. Mm-hmm. Oh. But then Superman's again able to help out with all this, even without his powers. Of course, he nearly okay. gets fried. Although, if you know, a lot of these guys are dressed up like those from The Thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. But yeah, oh, I... Oh, Lord, it's hard stop. Freeze, damn it. Newton, get the Medicard. Freeze. Freeze. Easy, emotes. I've got a pulse. Ugh. So he gets on up. Okay, then we have um, the, uh, so Allie she's, and Ron. They've both been around for ages. But then there's Dirk Armstrong. Basically, Rush Limbaugh. Okay. And this is um, um, the editor whose name I just forgot right now. We'll find his name out later. But... Yeah, he's the public and he's the publisher, and he's making a call um, because basically Dirk's saying, "Get rid of that one fluff piece on the wetland conservation. Who died to make shoes are the ship's floundering. It needs a captain. I'm not it. Break your story into two parts, Mister Troop. We're on the second half tomorrow." But he says, "Like it's Kent, Kent Clark's supposed to be managing editor." Mm-hmm. Again, all the stuff with Perry and Alice. Like when uh, when I'm on chemo, it feels like my blood's turned to fire. Then maybe you should wait. The strain your heart and your heart, you could die during treatment. If I do delay and the cancer spreads, I'll die for sure. And losing you and Keith and Ace, everything that means anything to me, that's not something I'll accept without a fight. If pain is what it takes, then pain is what I'll take. I won't give up. Of course, he's Perry White. He ain't gonna kill him off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's no way he, he has permanent plot armor. Exactly. Now, it's a weakened plot armor at the moment because. For all you know, they could have gotten the opportunity. For all you know. They could have. But in hindsight, we're like, there's no way they're ever going to kill Perry White. Yeah, but yeah, so they're deciding to lure the creature in there and even do something about launching this magnet in there and then send it out into space. Okay. I love it. I couldn't do it. We did it. And Perry survived. All right. Now we meet now... Superman meets up with Emile Hamilton. Now, by the point out, this is not the Kryptonian Candor. This okay. is the alien city of Candor. Okay, and he's in that awesome black suit. Okay, yeah. In fact, they rebuilt the um, rejuvenation pod, hoping to okay. regain his power. It can't bring him back to life again. Not going to happen. But mm-hmm. he theorizes it could restore his powers. Well, technically, didn't it not bring him back to life at all? Because he, he wasn't really dead. He was just in a coma. No, okay. That's something people have done to simplify things. Okay. It, it, was, it was made to make clear he did die, but it was unique circumstances. They waited like a few seconds longer, or did a few seconds. Longer. It was basically a perfect, a perfect lining up that could never happen again. Okay, that makes sense. I Everyone else that. has just since simplified it as he was in a coma when he really wasn't. A Kryptonian healing coma. Basically. But yeah, yeah, and for a moment he feels stronger, but nope. He's like, Counts only weighs a few thousand pounds, but I can't move in an inch. Oh, but then Mr. Miracle and Big Barda shows up, and they say yeah. they need his help, and only your superpowers can provide the answer. Oh, boy. The fate of a world depends on Superman's powers? Uh-oh. <laughs> wow. Uh-oh. Into the sunset. Now, Tachyon has been just been created and dumped there on, on Earth. And then, um, so he's like, now I have my own problems. Tachyon, where? None of your business. Now, eventually, Tachyon will become the leader of the new gods. But by this point, he's a bit of a brat. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this is when we get things mixed up. You know, we're kind of caught up in everything. And then he meets up, find out what's going on. And then uh, we see something weird going on as um, they're annihilators. And mm-hmm. as soon as old drinks explain about, like, uh, look, there's a problem. Uh, you might need not fear my survival, Superman. I will construct technological safeguards, and you'll be there to pull me out when the destruction of my garment is complete. Remove. <laughs> uh oh. And this is when they, and they find out that Superman got knocked down. Oh, don't and do not bother Metron. Flight will not be necessary. I'm good. I love in. that. I love Big Barda. Nice uh, butt shot. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> but this is what they find out about Superman not having his powers. Also, at this time, we're having um, Guardian dealing with the Madman. 
Okay, I was wondering who who who, who these Ghost Rider wannabes are. Yeah, they're, it's the Madman. Basically, he's so he's something about his abilities causes him to be so energetic, so lively, so and that he moves around at such incredible speed. Or something about it either splits him or something because he's so energetic. But he's finding this matter vibrational harmonizer. Why? Because it actually allows him to get a good night's sleep. Okay, that that makes sense. So yeah, they're working on this device and everything to build it up and all that. And basically, Metron says, if you're actually brought to the core of the sun, direct immersion should restore your powers. Of course, they're still not sure if it's perfect or not. No. But yeah, so see, guys, uh, look at this. Coco's made, bed smothered, pillows fluffed, turn it on, let the harmony of put us in, uh, in place, and now we sleep. Or maybe die, whatever. As long as it, all the noises stop, it's not working. Yes, it uh, is. It is. And he left the cocoa on top. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Perry passed out mm-hmm. or uh, collapsed from after the chemo. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you see it? The beautiful. It's so beautiful. The light. Uh oh. Must move towards the light. Don't go towards the light. But yeah, the way mm-hmm. all these different uh, things, those so force fields, basically, they all know none of this is going to survive the sun. It's just going to buy him time. Mm hmm. And sure enough, uh, uh, you know, there goes the shell, then there's the force field, and then fail, they're failing. Didn't work. So sure, how could I? Don't blame yourself. It was worth the risk. Uh, Guardian x like knocks it over. Man, man, then, uh, yeah, takes him down. But then, no, not dead. I'm back. My powers are back. Metron! Gets him out of there. And with the uh, mother box that they heal him. But thanks to it, they find out what's going on. And apparently Apocalypse and New Genesis collided. Oh, wow. Um, so, yeah, Superman now has his powers back. Now, this adventure that, would lead in. I, I imagine that's what they were inspired by in, in Superman and Lois when his brother th- throws him into the sun. To, uh, so we can... Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, now we're then moving on to the, the start of Electric Blue. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. Yep. Now, this is in Candor, and this is a guy that, um, um, Scorn. We'll be seeing a lot of Scorn. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, break the console. Break the console. Kiss off. Wait. Kiss off. Wait a second. Wait a second. Don't tell me they censored that. Wait, did they? I'm checking. Nope, it's kiss off. Never mind. Oh, really? That's yep. odd. So basically, Scorn is the son of a one of the main council members, and uh, he's just being this all like t- doing everything to spite his dad. Mm-hmm. I just want there was a guy, another guy. I forget his name. We'll get his name later on. But it wasn't Brainerd, but someone else had taken all of these different alien cities and plucked it into this. A pocket dimension that's being vi- visible by the um by the bottle. Mm-hmm. So in other words, it's not just simply a shrunk down bottle. It's it was in a pocket dimension. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it gets told off and like you would have succeeded me on the council once I passed, boy. For your rebellious ways, I must remove that honor forever. Thanks. Best gift you ever gave me, old man. You want to think I'd ever want to be in charge of this dump when all I want is out? Because yeah, he just wants to get out of there. Clark, we have, we have got to talk. What's wrong, Lois? We're out of milk. You said you picked some up on the way home from work yesterday. Sorry, hon. Guess I got so involved with that shark business. It happened beforehand that I forgot all about it. That, uh, 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 uh. Oh, sorry, that's her saying it. Sorry, hon. Guess I got so involved with that shark business that I forgot all about it. That should do it. Smooth as uh, silk. Or is these ones to be saying it? I don't know. That's weird. I yep. think he's supposed to be saying it, and uh, because, bubbles. because he he looks. Oh no! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait! It's his reflection. That's his reflection. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying. He, it doesn't look. Mirror. It's not as good there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could have made that a little more obvious. Yep. That's what I get for marrying a man who doesn't eat too. I uh, happen to eat often. Sorry, never did get into a normal routine for buying groceries. As long as you don't develop any other bad habits, well, it'll be fine. You're not dragging me to, into the divorce court. No, but I might drag you somewhere else. Come here. Doing. Allow me, madame. 
Hey, champ! Wow, my aunt Hoster must have shorted out. Yeah, good thing it was me or... Okay, I don't know, the, the, the door. Who could be here this early? Don't forget your glasses. I might forget the milk, but this is one habit I have down cold. Morning, Clark. And, and morning, Clarky. Hope you don't mind me dropping in. I brought the grub if you can furnish the coffee. Dirk Armstrong, I, uh, well, come on in, Dirk. And this is quite a surprise. It's something wrong. I'll save the jelly filled for you two. To be honest, something is wrong. You two are closer to Perry Wright than anyone else on staff. And I'd like to know why he detests me. He won't give me the, the time of day. You're my supervisor, Kent. Tell me how to get on White's A-list. Isn't it obvious, Dirk? You're a hard-boiled conservative, and Perry's a crusading liberal. He resents your column. Maybe so, but my columns have lifted the planet's circulation, and my viewpoint is just as valid as his. Even my daughter knows that. Just because my writing are conservative, then I'm not heartless. You have a daughter? 17. Real pistol. Raised her alone after her mom died. She's also blind! Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Of course not. She never bothered to ask because you were against me from the beginning. For, and for, for, for the moment I started, and, and I started, Perry White smeared me and folks listened to him. I'm not that bad a guy, Lois. How about you give me a chance to prove it? Fair enough, Dirk. Great. Here, have a donut. Coffee's ready. Tell you what, Dirk. I tell you what, Dirk. I'll arrange a lunch for you, Perry and me, and we'll start all over again. I'm sure we, we, what the? Clark and Clark? And not today, and not today, Dirk. I don't want to lose my garlic figure. But Lois, these donuts are great. I can't believe it. Me either. These donuts were on sale at half price. <laughs> Sounds like World War Three out there. What's the buzz? Sirens. Lois, we we totally forgot that we uh, have our appointment this morning. Sunday brunch with your parents. Remember, better hustle. We'll be late. Oh, all right. Sorry, Dirk. Wish we could chat longer, but no sweat, little lady. You folks had yourself a good feed. I promise I'll make up for this, the rocky start we've had. Next week, lunch is on me. Really? Why Why that? Super! Jim. Okay. Nice couple, those two. Hope they weren't just trying to get rid of me. Nah, who doesn't go guy who was doing us to leave unless they had a good reason? <laughs> I knew those Metropolis cops couldn't take this kind that kind of action. Ditch the wheels. We gotta slip down. <laughs> Thought you said he would admit and mess with the small fish like us. Maniacs like you are always my business. I love that. And then, so cool. uh, haven't you heard? Even a hail of uh, uh, bullets bounce off of uh, me. They pass right through me. Superman, what happened? You missed those bullets. Yeah. Went right through them and hit another guy. Mm. Better. Uh, and so he melts the gun. You're lucky, creep. If I had heat vision, I would have melted your hand along with the gun. Flies off and now, Dirk. After talking to Clark and everything, I think I'm not such a bad guy. He then says, gone. Superman's always been a, re a hero of mine, but he's partially responsible for that man getting shot. If I've been wrong all this time, is Superman a hero or a menace? This starts a plot point because of what his powers do. New powers Is bring. he becoming J the, 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 the Superman version of J. Jonah James? Without the clout. Without the clout you know, and the position. Okay, I but see. I get, but to be fair, though, I wouldn't blame him after that. Yeah, that does look kind of weird. No, no, I mean, it's basically, like, God, someone legitimately got hurt. It looks like Superman had control of his powers and he phased, and and in other words, he was negligent. Or missed, as he put it. Probably saw it, he sped away and sped back, like, mm -hmm. like, I was lucky this time, Lois. The doctor said that poor man will make a full recovery. Are you sure you find the answers here? Don't let this wasteland fool you. It may look barren. But my fortune is far below the surface. It has the equipment we'll need to find out what's wrong with me. My first trip to your secret little hideaway of your... Oh, this is our first time going there! This is the first okay. time we've ever been to the fortress. Which is weird because they're... No, at, they've, no, they've never, they've never no done it. At no point he would have brought her there? There was no reason to. Why? Invite okay, her into your uh, life. No, no. First of all, you gotta also remember this. The fortress and got uh, and, uh, got destroyed initially during Return of Superman. Then got built built back up again. They've had their own personal stuff. They didn't live together, and everything. And she was usually off doing her own stories whenever he would have to go there. But this time, because you they're would married, think when he told her who he was, though, he didn't have the fortress then. Oh no, okay. you know he did. No, he did have the fortress, but by that point. 
the fortress was just there for him as Superman. He didn't, and, and he didn't, he wasn't going to show off the fortress because why? It was just there. He used it if he ever needed it for his health, but he wasn't, it was, it was before he was all proud of his Kryptonian heritage. I see. I, that makes more sense. That makes more so sense. In other words, so in other words, he was, he didn't feel the need to say, and here's my Kryptonian heritage. No, for him, it was like, yeah, for him, he wouldn't think about that at all. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It, but but he's not saying that they disregarded his Kryptonian heritage. It's there, but it's not like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, right? It's not like, yeah. and now I'm going to show you this. Because he remember, he didn't create, this is the case where, remember this as well. He never created the fortress. The Eradicator did. Okay. Now, if he had created the fortress, then yeah, he'd show it off. But he didn't. Okay. That is that a, you, see, you get the big difference? Mm-hmm. But yeah, it takes it out. Like, Here you are, Lois. Hope you like it. Wow, those statues. Your biological Kryptonian parents, right? So that's how they dress. It's just so I'm, I'm amazed to see you're, you're linked to another world. So it must have been a really ca- and careless world. Have you ever considered some carpets or drapes or something to liven things up a bit? Some other time. First, we have to run a DNA test. Telos, what the guy's name, Telos, was instead of Brainiac. Okay. Now, turns out we will later find out it's because of the, the, the bottle city that messed up his DNA. Okay. Because it pulled him in and messed up his DNA there. Okay, that makes sense. More than that, the Bottle City's reacting as well. Scorn is there and he thinks, oh, yeah, like that barrier. That's, they think the barrier will kill you. It won't. Mm-hmm. So he gets pulled in there, or he's oh, partially pulled in there, and she's freaking out like, Clark, can you even hear me in that bottle? Clark! That face. You can only see out of the bottle when it's reacting to another dimension. Lois, if I can see her, then I may not be locked in yet. Who? Oh, the stranger thinks he can escape. This is the chance I've dreamed of. Hold on, stranger. You're taking me with you. No, stay back or you'll ruin every ch- And say attack. The case of Candor, that burned clothes can only mean one thing. He's dead. He's not. Mm-hmm. My Clark, you look terrible. You all right? A few weeks ago, Tintolo tried to pull and plug me into the bottle prison of his. Then one of my robots kept saying my DNA was messed up. I just thought a scanner was defective. I'm, I, I can't be sure, but, but something, and may, and something, maybe being knocked out of phase with this reality or all of those have changed me. I can feel it. I'm not the man I was. So yeah, they fly out and then Scorn is free. And it turns out he came through. Okay. Now we get to the full electric blue. Oh boy, here we go. Yep. Uh, but yeah, so uh, but, you know, I'm glad to hear it, Professor Hamilton. Not many people enjoy being alone in the Arctic. Hmm. Well, yes, I guess it is a sort of secret, a sort of fortress of solitude. Again, they never saw about calling it that, but the fortress of solitude. Okay. Again, remember this. So much of the stuff that we would know about was introduced in its own way post-crisis. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I, I was wondering, any chance you could run a few tests on me? It's probably nothing, but my powers... Oh, science conference in Santa Marta. And uh, of course, I understand. Like I said, it's probably yes, yes, I could do that. Thanks, email. I appreciate that. Bad news, Lois. I got to go to email right now. Can you handle things here? It's a dinner party, Clark. We're not defusing a bomb. So mixing Perry White and Dirk Armstrong comes close. I, I know it's important. So just change the Superman in. Better yet, let me help with that. Lois, <laughs> funny. I have this de- and dim memory. I'm supposed to be going somewhere. And you'll get there fast in a speeding bullet in a little while. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lois. Not your fault. And love, just some static electricity. <laughs> just proves even though we're married, we haven't lost that. Clark? Lois, what is it? Clark? Don't come any closer, Lois. Not until I find out what's going on. And I'm sure Hamilton will be able to. Ugh, suddenly just feels so lightheaded. Clark, you're falling right through the wall. This, this can't be real. Why can't I fly? What's happening to... <laughs> Huh? Right, everyone, st- please stay back. I- I'm fine. Everything's under control. Superman, <laughs> the one and only Miss. Even though I know I look a little different, that's pulling it mildly. Even my vision powers are out of whack. I'm seeing wavelengths, frequency, spectra I've never seen before. I might as well be blind. Biggest tip you'll get all day, driver. Buy my new book. That's right. You'll read that. You'll, you'll that voice. He sings in ways you've never imagined before. 
Dirk Armstrong. Last thing I, I, I want to end to give him is a reason to write one of his inflammatory columns about me. If only everything wasn't spinning. I need to get a grip on something. Steady myself. Electricity against a car. Bad idea. Mm-hmm. Boom. Good Lord. Is that Superman or some kind of super menace? It's mm-hmm. lucky. Lucky no one was hurt. Vision's cleared. That's a big improvement. It says energy must have ignited the car's gas tank. All right. All, uh, until it's under control, I better not touch anything like a crowded city bus. Oh, no. Face through. Okay. Being in material came in handy that time. Now, if I could just figure out how to stop my descent before anything else goes wrong, again, all of this in one night, I could see why Dirk would take would look at it like and anyone would. I would if I was in that world, wouldn't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't you think, oh, God, Superman's becoming a menace out of the blue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, great. Now the power out, goes out. Quinces or Clark, Superman. I'm sure they're both busy trying to figure out what went wrong here, Lois. Perry, are you all right? I'm sorry, if I'd known this was going to happen, I never would have asked you to. I have cancer, Lois. I'm not, but I'm not afraid of the dark. And no offense to your cooking, but right now I'm more interested in, in the cause and extent of this blackout. And you two are lucky I'm here. Dirk Armstrong likes nothing better than to get to the root of the problem. And dinner by candlelight. Uh, my contact at MetPower says they just lost the south side of New Troy Island and a good chunk of Queensland Park. Massive power surge. Cause unknown. Although I've got a pretty good idea. Unfortunately, with the grid down, Atomic Skull breaks out. Oh, no. Now, what I said about this Atomic Skull, he's delusional. He believes he's a part, a hero in an old movie serial. Okay. Atomic Skull. Mm-hmm. And uh, he see, thinks his villain, Dr. Electron, is behind it. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Okay, the object is to get out of here and to Professor Hamilton's lab without causing any more damage. It'd be a big elf like a fly. Right now, I'd sell for being solid enough to grab onto something. It can't be impossible. Mom Paul always said you could do anything but your mind to it. So he just finds his core, his solid core, and then, boom! Well, speak of the devil, looks like I just took my first step. Oh, boy. Well, I see a guy seemingly getting gunned down, but it turns out, um... Yeah, this is um, a, a different... Um, a, a, a gangster will be seeing a lot more of him. Okay. Um... Yeah, but he's saying how he has like a whole bunch of um other you know um um you know like so he's trying to fill in the void and everything mm-hmm. for his inner gang. And uh, see you and the rest of your boys joining my in, in, in my inner gang. Yeah, this guy's in charge of inner gang. It's not Bruno Manheim, it's someone else. Mm-hmm. But yeah, shoots him down. The old man here is all, all alone. So, but then it turns out he has this woman named Torture here. I would have treated your punks good. You would have lived forever. Would have lived like kings. No better than kings, like gods. Well, kiss it all goodbye. Torture, my pleasure. <laughs> uh, Moxie, I I want to work with you, Moxie. You know that, right? You're a legend in this town. It'd be a real honor to. Yeah, his name's Moxie. I get the drift, Raul. The thing, and it ain't entirely up to me. Mike, you, my turn. So basically, he then takes some of uh, that's Dabney Donovan. Mm-hmm. Remember who that is, right? No. The guy who cloned Super made Superboy. Okay. He's the cloning master of, of Cadmus. Okay, that makes sense. But yeah, um, he then jabs it up and then they shoot him down. They even said a guy named um Machine um, Machine and uh, Mike uh, Mike Machine Gun. And it turns mm-hmm. out like son of a light to me. It ain't that I like that, Raul. See, you're still gonna work for me. Leastways, your clone's gonna. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he has these guys. So he's basically cloning people and then remaking them with superpowers. Oh wow! Oh yeah, Zelda, my love. I thought you dead, darling. Sorry, Bones, but you got the wrong. Uh, I, I was in prison, framed for your murder by my, my nefarious enemy. But once I find a feet, Doctor Electron, we'll be together once more. Sorry, Bones, but you got the wrong woman. This is Lois Lane, and she's married. Put a lid on it, Armstrong. Don't you know anything about the atomic skull? He's got this fixation. Thinks he's the hero from an old movie serial. We contradict that, but Todd Phillips might be the next Hiroshima. So Lois already knows to play along. He spoke mm-hmm. the truth. I see the ring on your finger. Why didn't you wait, Zelda? I, I thought you were dead, just like you thought I was dead. Dr. Electron took and tricked both of us. Skull! Let her go, Skull. You got a bigger problem to worry about. Me, Cedric, 
No, no, of course. Dr. Electron, you love Zelda too. I see that now. Her death was but an elaborate scheme so you get a hold of her. You're the one who needs to get a grip, Skull. Zelda, he has brainwashed you, Zelda. But I know you'd rather die than be his mindless thrall. I do this out of love. Lois, look out, she'll never. No! Now Dirk gets him out of the way while Superman try to tackle him. That's right, Atomic Skull. Take Lois away. Now I saved Dirk. Not that I haven't dodged my share of death rays before. Just, just trying to do the honorable thing, Lois. Shipper isn't dead. Although may have a, I, may, I may, it may have a heart attack soon. Your heart died the, way, the day you began working for Dr. Electron, minion. But then Perry tries to, you know, get involved, claiming he's hit one of his old, old rivals. He's ready mm-hmm. to sacrifice his life because of the cancer, if it means mm-hmm. saving Lois. But then it's not going to end that way, Skull. No one dies today. Ah, shit. That's really cool. And but you're like, like you're arrogant and confident now, Electron. But that will change soon. But I sound that way because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know how powerful I am, what I can and can't do. I don't even know what will happen when our two energy fields come in. Co- Doom! They think Superman's been atomized. Mm-hmm. Think we don't mean it? Check out the next issue. Wow. And now, but thanks to doing it from that thing, I can now go straight in the order. Sweet. Yeah, scorn stomping through as we then see Superman showing up. Remember what what he dealt with earlier with the mm-hmm. electric being? Mm-hmm. Well, he, he saw back to it and it was able to recollect him back here. Oh, Look wow. Look at that. That is really cool. Is that? Can't be. Superman, are you? No, stay back. The situation could be dangerous. Dangerous? That doesn't begin to describe it. Seconds ago, I was finding a time skull in Metropolis until an energy surge literally blew me apart. Then I remembered how these machines were designed to focus energy, and suddenly I was here. So he transports out of there. Meanwhile, Scorn is hitching a ride. Mm-hmm. So... The Dr. Electron is dead! The city is safe again! The atomic skull is triumphant! But the, the Dr. Electron he killed was my husband, Clark. Easy, Perry. His chemotherapy hasn't left you the strength to fire supervillain, but he thinks he's a hero. Yeah, Transform drove him insane, repeating it all. All right, Electron's lack. He's come to avenge their fallen master. So lower, uh, uh, Superman shows up again. He's like, Queenland Island. I travel a thousand miles in a heartbeat, but I'm still not where I need to be. A blast! Okay. <laughs> so Lois then decides, darling, I said I'd never see you again. You've recovered from the brainwashing. So basically she does all this to get him away before he hurts any of the SEO. That makes sense. Think what you want about Superman, Perry, but for my money, that lane woman's the real hero. Because yeah, she's see, moments like that, she's ready to put her life on the line so that no one else gets hurt. Even though he could literally just swat her away. But he, she knows he won't. Uh, because a little because, close, in my opinion. Oh, sure. And I bet you if other people have done it, you'd be perfectly fine with it. No. I still okay. don't like it because... Hey, hey oh, if Mary Jane does something like this, would you be all right with that? No, because it's stupid. Okay. But I'm just saying, it's something ca- supporting characters do. These are the supporting characters. Yes, they're going to be protected. But they're not... And someone like Wonder Woman, she has a main book. She's perfectly fine. Supporting characters. I wasn't talking about Wonder Woman. I'm no, no, no. I know, no, no. I'm bringing it up because I know this. I'm just bringing it up in general. They're like other people, people like Lois. Supporting characters, perfectly fine. You really have to go through a lot of effort to kill off a supporting character or even put them in harm's real harm's way. No, but I know she's not really in harm's way because I know they don't have the balls to go through with it. So why I'm would like, they? No- why would they? People do like Lois. No, but what I'm saying is that. There's no stakes here because I know they're not going to do no it. There's no stakes with any characters. Yeah, well, there was stakes no, no, with like Doomsday. Yeah, do, because Doomsday, okay, first of all, Doomsday was a surprise. No one knew that was going to be the death of Superman until that last issue. Mm-hmm. Even though you they know told that, right? You it was going to be that? No, no, that's when they told you. Up in that point, it was just called Doomsday. That's all the arc was called was Doomsday. Okay, I, I, that and I didn't know. Came, and then but came my 75, point is, they went through with it then. But that's because, but that's because they knew they were going to bring him back. Obviously, they weren't going to keep him dead. And and that's the problem. They they it's even less stakes. It's even more like, at least in my opinion, 
But I'm saying, but it's not special yeah. exclusive to Lois. That's to every character. So it's no, not. No, no. Trust me, I don't like it with, with any other character. Uh, but I'm saying, but I'm saying, no. so that shouldn't be used as a qual problem against specifically Lois when that's everyone. You do know Still. that Tenley, there was a time when Diana died. Well, yeah, of course, every DC hero has died. But no, but no she, she stayed dead for a decent length of time while her mother was Wonder Woman. Yeah, I, 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 I remember that from the Grant Morrison JLA run. Yeah, because that tied in what Byrne was doing. Mm -hmm. Superman show, it gets his costume. Now, this is weird. He's electric, but when he puts the, um, uh, the outfit on, somehow he's able to regain uh, complexion. Yeah, that, that is kind of weird. I mean, I get it. You can't keep drawing him like this. But it at least it's a middle an explanation. Ground. Okay, but yeah, but um, but I my guess is the outfits keep giving him form because it's so skin tight, so he's able to concentrate but, on the other parts of his body. Oh, okay, that kind that kind it's of makes like sense. It's almost like a containment suit. It's almost like a containment suit, which we'll eventually get to. Mm -hmm. It's all except it's clearly all the shows. It's barely holding him together. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Because of all the little yeah. flare ups. Mm -hmm. Even that, you look like you're on fire. I appreciate the concern, the concern, but that's not important now. So he even said, Miss Lane turned herself over to Martin to prevent bloodshed. He took her with him. That way, with your speed, you can have no trouble catching them. No trouble. Time was, but then he's able to see different vision. He sees the, his radiation. Mm -hmm. He asked for a ride there. <laughs> no, new energy, new vision must be based on energy, like the rest of my changing powers. Apparently, that lets me differentiate between energy signatures. So, yeah, he's, oh, and no, truck passing through the energy signature. Radiation dress breaking up. Stop! Magnetism! All right, super magnetism. But, unfortunately, this radiation canceled out the other radiation. Mm -hmm. So, now he's lost the trail. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zelda, my sweet, you look trouble. What can I do to ease your sorrow? Calm your heart. Should I sing for you? Perhaps recite some um, melee? She tries to say, take him to the army base, but he says, no, I never. You're too innocent to realize the authorities are Electron's dupes. No, he's not evil. Just seriously nuts. Like, uh, ah, uh, nuts. Uh, oh, we're seeing, um, um, this is um, Global Wheels Transport. We're paid uh, real good to move them tubs. Up. Oh, yeah, because of these getting um, you know, stopped. Mm-hmm. So now, oh boy, I, but my snitch at the precinct, how it says the driver they caught ready to name names. Uh-oh. Now, oh, look what Superman does here. He's like, blast it. How? He's, he's ready to smash it, but instead, gonna do it. gets all the updates. Oh, wow. And then he realizes where he needs to go. And I love it. At least I know where to go, transports. Like, Fear not, Zelda. The resurrected fiend won't harm you. Oh, fighting. Oh, geez. You Captain O'Tug? I was, but my, no job's worth my life. Unfortunately, yeah, the, the, that bunch of radioactive tubs, like what happened earlier, mm -hmm. were, they were about to be dumped in the water, but something caused a leak. Mm -hmm. be, be calm. There is nothing to be afraid of. You mean besides you? What's the situation? Just trying to earn a buck, super, Superman. Global Wheels hired me to dump those and, try, and drums of hot stuff at sea. But a lone crew tossed them on board so fast, some of them broke open. The result insides mixed together, and now the reaction's running wild. Mm -hmm. Now, I do actually like this. Because remember, he's still a hero. Mm -hmm. Have no fear. The Thomas Skull is here. I'll just re remove this threat to the North Pole until it can be, what? Caustic waste eating through the timber. The hull's starting to crack. Skull's not fair. See, he's being a hero, because he thinks yeah. he is one. Mm-hmm. Miss Lane, my name is Horton from Star Lab. I'm afraid we need your help. Um, so yeah, he then transports up there, and then he absorbs all the radiation energy. I feels like razors raising through my vines. Chief, what's he doing? Don't know, Simpson, but apparently it worked. So he puts it down and says, the whole barge has been cleaned. Not one rat in the lot. I may, I may have judged you too harsh, Electron. You'll still have to pay for your crimes, of course, but again... I like this with Skull. Yeah, this is actually really cool with Atomic Skull. Again, I like he, he's that. not evil. Like she said, he's just nuts. Yeah, exactly. I really like that. Uh, darling, you were wonderful. Ah, sweet Zelda. I knew I could count on you. 
basically the only one to get close to put a negator rod. Mm-hmm. It's worked. He's he's helpless. And you, Zelda, Superman. Now, see, without the outfit, he's back. It was the outfit shredded. He's back to not holding it together. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I love it. I don't know what I am. I don't know a lot of things. All I do know is that in real life, stories don't always have happy endings. Ouch! That's a little dramatic because we are reading a Superman comic. Now we have Scorn's going to show up in Metropolis. Oh, boy. Oh, I love this. You actually made it through the night without sinking through the bed and into the apartment below. More than a couple of times, anyway. At least I managed to wake up before I sink through another floor. Ma- uh, made for a restless night, but... Clark, stop! You can't shave that way anymore! Jim! Well, I'm wide awake now. It's like shaving with ball, 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 ball lightning. Any drastic way to... Now notice! Hairy chest! Completely clean! Yeah, I love that. That's <laughs> funny. I hope the computers are okay. You seem to have magnetized all the metal in the apartment. Look, maybe you should call him sick today. I think you need a little more time to get used to these new powers. Oh, look at you, Kevin. Gong! Now remember, he can't speak English. So he's like, rah, 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 rah. Let's get on the horn. The Metropolis MCU. Tell him we got a paranormal situation developing here. Oh, great. Misunderstanding. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, this woman here had been hired in beforehand. Was it during the um, um, Revenge Squad story um, to sensationalize the news? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, that means, well, look at that. Mm-hmm. Superman saved Metropolis doesn't have time, Simone. And which oh, Simone's also someone that Clark knew beforehand. Okay. And then he runs into one little problem, and this is how we repay him. Superman has more than a little problem, Lois. He's dangerous, out of, a cl- out of control. It's our job to warn. Warn, Dirk, not sensationalize. A noble sentiment, Cherry. But noble sentiments don't sell newspapers. I was under the impression that we were running a newspaper here. Not at the Bane Society. She, Lois, there's a monster at the heliport that's your, and that's your, and where your duty lies. I'm on my way. Clark may be out, but uh, Simone, but Perry will be in within the hour. You'll hear the same thing from him. And Simone, you hired me to improve circulation. And what? And, and, and we, Franklin? I, I, and I have another idea that may well strike some sparks. Now, now, now this is where we find out when Superman's focused, he's human. Okay. Including Conk, his foot. Mm-hmm. Ouch. That had to hurt. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he then transports over there. Uh, mm-hmm. I got the direction right. Landing still needs practice. All this, I'm thinking about what to do. But mm-hmm. the, how do I prove I don't want trouble? Got it. Look, I'm reaching out. See? No weapon. No, don't touch. Whoops. Perfect miscommunication, right? Yeah. It's like, see? No weapon. No, don't touch. Mm-hmm. For, and, and what? Yo, from you, cat, that hurt. Sorry, Jimmy, but this comes from over my head. With Vinny Edge dead and the company in an uproar, ratings are everything, and you are hired to boost ratings. Did you think WGBS hired, uh, uh, hired you to coast? On your past success, you were being groomed for our number one slot. And last week, you threw it all away to help a la- an old lady into a shelter. You missed the destru- and destruction of Gacy's. But, oh, I told the board you still had it, but they weren't buying it. I said, well, what is it, Frank? Of course, they hear about the help board, so he heads on over there. Mm-hmm. Loud- actually, speak louder than words. So my grandma used to say, time to-, to let my fist do the talking. Shield Bear is probably a peacekeeper here. Power to the gills. And overreacting like every cop in Candor. In the Bob City, I take all his bigger and meaner dudes with even weirder powers. I'm a quick study. I, I I see what he can do, and this time I'm ready for contact. I liked it about Scorn. Again, he's just a troubled youth by his race standard. Mis- and this is just mm-hmm. a huge, again, miscommunication, misinterpretation. Yeah. But unfortunately, oh! And Perry's trying to get in, but phone's on the brink. Everything's gone out. Great Scott, the bridge. Got to put it right. And yet, right now, there's nothing I can and, and safely do. The creature, where coming at me on face, out for blood, and probably less dangerous to Metropolis right now than I am. Oh, look. Focus his energy but into a big fist. Mm-hmm. So That's he's it. basically upstaging Green Lantern. Sort of. He's a Blue Lantern. He's the original Blue Lantern. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh-oh. All the power gets knocked out. 
amazing. It was like my conscience suddenly encompassed the city, and for an instant I was everywhere. Too much information to process at one time. Too many impressions. Oh, I love this. Neither Clark nor Perry can be reached, Franklin, and this editorial needs an okay now. Superman a menace. Dirk, this is pretty extreme. And look, everyone yeah. else gets zapped except for Franklin. Mm -hmm. What in blazes was that? Why did they get so see Keith David playing him? And Dirk's uh, pants are uh, 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 got gone. Well, look yeah. at everyone else. Yeah, yeah. And by yeah, I could see Keith David playing him. I, I could definitely see that. Yep. And I chose to point out by this point, Bibbo is going back into boxing. So okay. he's going for a big, the championship. Mm -hmm. Like, uh oh. Superman keeps on fighting. Um, Jimmy's trying to get the story and everything. He's got Superman just throwing him around, but then I'm afraid camera's dead. I figure we've been off the air since, since when? Best guess since that energy storm hit our chopper. I'm dead. Of course, he's fine because they have backup cameras because they're at the studio. Mm -hmm. This is witty banter outside the Metropolis Theater. Where a fight I actually didn't start is in progress. This guy's mm -hmm. about to be a combination of, you know, all those talk show hosts. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, just catch me tomorrow on WGBS News. Oh, boy, they keep on fighting, but then Superman gets overwhelmed as, as the power just keeps on building up. Great. Now he's blacked out the whole city. You're right, Armstrong. Superman was, has indeed become a menace. I see no recourse, but the go is your editorial and warm metropolis against him. Like he said, he's not an editor. He's a publisher. Mm -hmm. And here we go. Final issue of the starting point. I the had this one. issue. You do? Nice. Exit. One, two, three. Yeah. Man, just look at this. It's cool. A move. I'm in a hurry here. What was that you said, Lois? Sorry, Professor Hamilton, but this traffic is making me crazy. Superman needs your help. If he can't escape that, that creature that's trying to kill him, I'm sure he'll come to you. Ever since Superman's power went wacko, I've been expecting this. Dr. Faulkner and I at uh, 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 the Star Last Lab episode. But Faulkner is uh, Rampage. Kind of like DC She-Hulk. Mm -hmm. All Superman has to do is get here. Let's pray he can, Professor. I, mean, I wanted a calm start to our marriage, but for the last few days, our lives have turned totally upside down. Clark's power changes the cause. We first notice it when some bullets, and which normally bounce off and pass, summarizing everything. Oh, mm -hmm. Swan Boulevard! Oh, there you go. Oh, jeez! Wow. And people thought to... they, they destroyed the city of Man of Steel. <laughs> no, but look, look at him. They're like, stay back! Yeah, I love that. But yeah, soon he gets kind of trained. And yes, it works. Someone. Jimmy? No! Boom! Uh-oh. Uh, just look at this. Uh-oh. I don't know his name, but he's coming after us. Why, I'll rip, our, the, the, uh, rip the horn right out of his head. Can't hear you over his growl, Bibbo. Did you say his name is Scorn? He said horn, but he's not a Scorn. Mm -hmm. Oh, how did I? What am I? I'll need to find that creature again after I get help. So yeah, Jimmy calls him Scorn, and he brings mm -hmm. about all this. Indeed. A most unexpected development for the alien. Lex, you're finally home. Indeed, Miss Fane. Efficient attorney that and Miss Fane, efficient attorney that she is, make sure I spent little time constraining the local judicial system. Uh, uh, the solution to the alien's dilemma could be solved as quickly, but I doubt those simple to the stars will be able to do so. Could you do so, my Hudson? Easily. As always, the question is this: do I gain more from Superman's suffering or his salvation? Uh, Superman hasn't been seen downtown for quite a while. Maybe he's on his way. By Gaffrey, I hope so. Someone, unless he's turning to someone else for assistance, he's coming. He's coming here. Count on it. And didn't know you knew him that well, Miss Lane. Careful, Lois. Can't let on we're married. You can help him, can't you, Doctor Faulkner? We haven't examined him yet, but I'd say he needs some sort of containment suit. Now that's Kellex. Mm -hmm. Danger, danger. Power suits. I read it because. Superman, uh, he didn't even need the door. He faded through and they keep them all contained in there. Mm -hmm. Like we haven't on uh, the time to, to construct the micro circuit we need for a containment suit unless, unless we get some alien or that is Kryptonian technology. I comprehend your meaning. I shall deactivate myself. But unfortunately, that's not enough. So they need a special mm -hmm. fabric to which Contessa shows up with mm -hmm. it. 
and makes a deal. And she doesn't leave there saying, make your decision. Mm -hmm. Like, how much longer can Superman survive without the fabric? 30 minutes. We can't possibly develop our own at a time. I shall leave you to debate your options. If you wish, use the fabric. If not, the consequences are yours to live with. Au revoir. Lex, Lex, this is no friend of mine or anyone else in the city. A few years ago, my mother was dying, and Luther's medicine kept her alive. But there were strings. He used that medicine to blackmail me into a relationship with him. That's the way it is with Luther. He only gives when he gets something in return. I don't know what he gains by helping Superman, but we can't turn our backs on his offer. I say we use the fabric, because they have no choice. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, he rips out the circuitry, and they're doing all they can. Blast, half my lobster traps are missing again. What's going on here? I'll go to, go to, holy Moses, what are you? Some kind of sea monster, don't go. <laughs> Unfortunately, he dies, and he's like, too late. He's dying. Life's abandoning him, and it's all my fault. Is that my curse? That death and destruction touch everyone I meet? I feel bad for Scorn, don't you? Yeah, because, because he, he's a monster, and, that, and that's why the guy reacted that way. But it's like, he didn't want any of this. He didn't even want to fight. Mm -hmm. He just wanted to get it out of Candor, and then when he's out, he's trying to figure out what to do, and then every time he does, it leads to a fight. Yeah, exactly. Uh-oh, Superman's losing his physical form. All right, it's done. If Superman can somehow retain his consciousness, he shouldn't know what to do. Good golly, he's not even waiting for us to leave. Everybody out. Are you sure this will work? The only thing I'm sure of is that if it doesn't work, Superman will be lost to us forever. The light. Not what I expected at all. The electricity. Up and up and I'm alive. It was close, but I'm alive. No time to dwell on the fact, not while the monster's loose. He should be here, but there's no trace of him. Amazing. Professor Hammond and Dr. Faulkner did an incredible job. This containment suit allows me to stay in phase with this place of existence while retaining these new powers. Finally, I can control my powers. And if I fade myself completely into this plane, I become completely human. Whoops! Forgot that I left my clothes behind when I changed. This would be an embarrassing way to go to go to go out. Better face back into Superman. Maybe the creature went back to the city. Better check it out. Must be a storm. Must be a storm. I swear I saw a flash of lightning. Hey, why is my radio so fall static? And the trail of light headed west. It would indicate, indeed it is, my dear. Well done, Erica, my love. Very well done. No doubt about it. I'm faster than ever. Go to see Ma and Pa. Well, what do you think of the new and improved Superman? Clark, you told us you've been going through changes last time we called, but this, careful, son, you'll blow every fuse in the house. Don't sweat it, Pa. I have everything, con enough control to prevent that from happening. I like the look, Clark, but there's something missing. Okay? No, silly. The symbol. You m simply must have an S. That's why I stopped by. Since you designed the first one, I wanted to see the next generation. Now I'm ready for the next century. That's my like it. I don't understand all these newfangled powers of yours, but you might be even stronger than before. To be, Pa. I'll have to spend plenty of time learning the ropes because now there's an all new Superman in town. Oh, Scorn then brings them there. They freak out as he runs out, but yeah. How was yeah. that? That was interesting. It, nice it looks cool, though. Yeah. And this is, just, this is just the starting point, obviously. We'll eventually come back to this for more, but... How cool is it in the original, in the recent Action Comics run where Livewire was having trouble controlling her power, so Superman brought her the containment suit? Actually, that went back, that went, that was actually as far back as Busick's run. No, I'm saying... Not Busick, not Busick, um, uh, Chris Robinson's run. It, it, they did it again in the Johnson run. Oh, they, oh, right. Yeah, that, that's weird. That's the second time they did that. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, okay. And the third time it was a woman using the suit because you had Strange Visitor. Mm hmm. Do you remember Strange Visitor? No, I don't think so. That was Kismet in a human body. Okay. But, um, that was but cool. Yeah, so, how was all that? That was cool. It's cool. Uh, it was different. What did you think about since this is giving a taste of the Triangle Number era after the death? How was it? That felt like one. It feels just like one ongoing narrative, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, and and that helps when it comes to like a comic book storyline because I like when they tell these big sprawling stories. But but unlike more recent stuff, like unlike Jeff Johns' Green Lantern, where it's arc after arc. In this case, unless it's a specific mini arc, they just flow into each other. There is no, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, look at what happened. You had him deal with the Thomas Gall. That was just two issues. Then he dealt with Scorn for a while. And then had all this. 
If, and nowadays, that would have been like a multi-parter for each part. Yeah, exactly. It would have been like four to five issues or so per arc. Yeah, exactly. Just to get to the and then the, and the fact the fact that the whole him getting the outfit was just one issue after after all the build up. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, and what what can we add that? What did you think about Dirk, for example? What do you think about him? Because you're gonna see a lot of him as we go over this. I like Dirk. I think he's funny. And it's he's cool funny. how he basically turned into the J. Jonah Jameson in a way, in a way of yeah. this universe. But I also like he's supposed to be the Rush Limbaugh, but he's a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he has he, blowhard opinions. Yeah, but he's not like an evil because it would have been so easy for them to make him a bad guy. Which nowadays they would have, but here nowadays they, they would. Rush Limbaugh, but it's more like they're putting him in here not to spite Rush. They're doing it because it's like they Rush became so popular they realized, okay, a place like the planet would have a conservative voice. Yeah, they would have a conservative commentator. Nowadays, no, but back then, yeah. Um. Franklin, well, you know, the publisher, we're going to see a bit of him, too, and I get his predicament, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, Clark's not there, Perry's not there, someone has to make the calls. Yeah. And he's thinking about the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Um, and what and what did you see about Scorn? I like Scorn. I, 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 I see... He has a dope character design, and I, I, I liked his story th- th- throughout the entire thing. Yeah, because he's not a bad guy. No, he's, he's not a bad guy. And in a way, technically, Atomic Skull is not a bad guy. Neither is he. Yeah, exactly. We have not seen any full-on bad guys here. Oh, what did you think about Lex throughout this? I like I, – I, he's, he's his regular conniving self. I like him. That's cool. Yep. And the Contessa, there's a reason why they were secretly married for a time. She's almost his equal. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let me ask Lois. Be honest. Don't be. Uh, I want you to be honest based on what we just went it through. It annoys the crap out of me when she keeps putting herself in harm's way. I'm like, stop it. Other people do that. They're, these are the supporting characters. Why shouldn't they do it? Because they, they have a good heart and they're they're being selfless. Yeah, but it's just. It's different when you're. Fu- it's just so it just happens too many times. People. So stand there, let the bloodshed happen. No, just run and hide. Why? You're fighting a dude that is like she knows, ridiculous. She dark. knows. She knows when it comes to the time of skull. She knows he thinks she's Zelda, his love. So that's why she knows he's not going to hurt her. So she knows take a risk, put her neck out there. Because of course, if she says something wrong, it could set him off. But she knows the odds are better in her favor. To get him out of there. Now, if this was all like Metallo, no, she knows it's not going to work on him. But Atomic Skull, in this predicament, she knew it would work in her favor. I guess it's just, I just don't like when they when they force Lois to do all this stuff. Of course, of course, she was right there. And then, of course, the cops show up. Again, the story flowed, and I felt this was natural for her. And it shows that, again, she's willing to put her, her neck on the line to help others. Still, it's it, it wasn't my f- f- favorite thing personally. I'm like, all right, all right. Well, and, but 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 you guys still be honest though. It's still it's not aside from that. Let me put it to you this way, uh, Robert. It's better than when Tomasi had to use the Hellbat armor to fight the Eradicator. Okay, you're gonna it's keep bringing that up. That. You're gonna keep bringing that up because it's because that was the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Agree to disagree. Why would I've Batman seen, teach anyone else but him how to use the Hellbat armor? I, I I've seen dumber stuff. I that's why I said agree to disagree. Okay, but still, but my point is, I'll give you that. It's better than that. All right, but like I said, though, this we're gonna see a lot was like I said was lowest throughout all of it. And her having to deal with all the fact that having right after the marriage. Again, you don't have to agree. And if she ever does anything stupid, you can't blame her because, again, they literally just got married and then all this happened. It's not mm-hmm. like it happened a few years into the marriage. This is immediately after the marriage. Mm-hmm. So any stress this might bring up, it would happen to anyone. Mm-hmm. But, but and now, what about the new powers? It's, it's interesting. I liked how, first off, what I liked about it, here's how, why it's actually a, underrated story in my opinion they show you him learning how to use his powers because i've seen too many comics where a hero no- uh, uh, gains new powers and he automatically knows what how to many do times do the lanterns just automatically know 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's like, okay, you know what? We see him go through the journey of learning how to use these new powers. Yeah, and in this case, now unfortunately it's called him more destruction. Well, yeah, I also kind of like that because it showed consequences. Yep. But I do like this idea, though, again. And in fact, those that they're so drastic. Yeah, and it kind of turns the, uh, the, the Daily Planet against him. I, I, I liked how they did that. Now, of course, again, that's, because, that's I, also because Perry's not there. Perry was there. Well, he, yeah, but but my point is I like how there's consequences to these actions instead of just exactly. them happening. And, like, the Daily Planet's like, we're still behind you, Superman. Exactly. Well, yeah, but again, you know if Perry was there, he would call them out and say, hey, Superman has done enough good for us. Because So basically you have someone who's more seen about the bottom line, who's not an editor. Who's mm -hmm. letting someone, a sensationalist like Simone, and also a sensationalist like Dirk, run the, the stuff just to try and increase the numbers? Yeah, that's making it very clear that's not a good thing. Short-term gain, long-term loss. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's just, I'm just saying, I like seeing the consequences to the oh, actions. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I agree. But like I said, I, I do think it, now, what is it about Perry's cancer stuff throughout all this? You feel bad for him, right? Yeah, definitely. I, I, definitely. Where he has to choose between you might die or you die. Pick one oh, of these oh, options. Well, basically, you run the... It's, it's not so much that. I really... It wasn't so much that. So much more of the case of you can wait. If you do it now, you risk die. If you wait, it could spread. And if it spreads, you are going to die. Yeah, so... I, so it I, was I, a gamble. It's a gamble. I think that this... Ver the, the, because... The cancer plot in a lot of these stories, you have to handle with in a certain way. I think they handled it very well in, in this story. Yep. Now, what about the design? The design of the suit, I got to be honest, I like the way it looked before he put the S on. Now, still put the S on, but I, I like the little lines on the suit that were... It was wires, the wiring. Yeah, I, I kind of like the wires. That's just me. I'll say this. For a lot of 90s re edgy redesigns, like... This blows the um, Wonder Woman design at the time out oh, of the yeah. Oh, you mean the, the biker shorts yeah. and, the, uh, and the crop top? Yeah, yeah, exactly. This blows that out of the water. I like this way better. Yeah, I, I got to say, there's a reason why this outfit is memorable. It is, right, I'll, I'll say this, it's comparable to the Clone Saga outfit. Either yeah, Scarlet Spider or Ben Riley's outfit. Yeah, it's, it's essentially Controversial that. though the story may be, the outfit's are good designs. Yeah, and, and it's as m as m memorable as the Asbat costume. Now, I should make this clear. Going forward, Superman's going to keep these powers. He is never going to have a moment of going back to the all powers until it is all resolved. Okay. In fact, there's going to be a point where email tells him, oh, this is going to be permanent. Superman heard that before. By the way, what did mm -hmm. I want to correct? Yeah, uh, it's kind of funny. Yeah. Go, go, ahead, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, it's because got, I remember I, I was reading... Uh, I was there's a delay, there's a Grant delay. Morrison's, yeah, I was reading Grant Morrison's JLA, and one of the things I liked about it, it was kind of funny is that the first issue, he's regular Superman. And then, like, for, like, 20 or so issues, he's electric blue, and then he goes right back to regular Superman. So Because Grant cool. had to work with everything. He had to yeah. work with what was going on. And he worked like very he well with, with it. Just Oh, yeah, having Superman actually pull the pilot because of the electric blue energy. Yeah, yeah. That was, Grant, <laughs> Grant yeah. rolled with it. He's like... There's a lot I can do with this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, I, stuff I, can do. I reached out to David Michelini because I remember once saying, I remember once saying on the show that he lost his the job because he said in an interview, oh, their power's not gonna last forever. Everyone knows it. That wasn't the case. Mm -hmm. Turns out he left because one, editorial had been shifting around. Mike Carlin had been promoted upward, you had then Joey uh Calvary, and there was talks about stuff. If by the time he left, which is part way through this. There was always the rumors then about what would eventually, you know, like what have been Superman 2000. They dropped it, but mm -hmm. you know the rumors of that. And yeah. then, um, and then um, um, also he and when he was done amazing, he was basically telling one whole story unless it was a crossover. In that mm -hmm. case, he was done one part of it, but he knew that was temporary. Here, it was like the Spider-Man crossover the whole time. He was yeah. one quarter of a, a writer, and he mm -hmm. did not like that. It mm -hmm. became tiresome. And I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why after Eddie Berganza took over and you had Jeff Loeb and everything on, they eventually dropped the triangle numbers because even they were fed up. Mm -hmm. But what does it say that it took Carl Kessel, um, Dan Jurgens, Louise Simonson, 
on occasion, Roger Stardy does the quarterly book. It took them leaving because they were used to it. Mm -hmm. They were used to it. But it feels like anyone else is like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. What does it say, right? Uh, are you talking about when, like a lot, when like writers come on a book but don't want to, uh, to to write the status quo of the book? No, no. I'm talking about wanting to do this whole. They want to just stick to their own stuff. They don't want to do this, you know, a never-ending battle story. Which I mean, these are the cards you're dealt with, though, because you're writing yeah. this character in this universe. You have to make some concessions. I understand you may not like it, but that just comes w w w with the territory of writing this character. That's why they eventually dropped it after Emperor Joker. Yeah. They, or it was either Emperor Joker or Wars at War. One of the two, they dropped it during that. Mm -hmm. But um, now, since we're not going to, you and I, I plan on going past, even past Electric Blue until the end of Jurgen's tenure, which leads right into Loeb's. But. There's one thing I want to tell you about that I just, I found out about what Loeb did. Because you know, because eventually we'll get to a point where Lex buys up the planet and shuts oh, it boy. down. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know what he ends up then? You know, how Loeb starts his story? How? Lex sold it back. He gave it back and everything. Eventually Bruce Wayne buys it. But yeah, he sells it back to Perry. That's hilarious. Uh, eventually, Bruce... not right away. But um, I... but turns out, you know what ended up happening? He made a deal with Lois. Mm-hmm. He will sell it for one dollar, on the condition that Lois could he and uh, that Lois would ask any story at any point in the future that he'd ask, and then finally Globe would then by the end of at the end of his run do it, where mm -hmm. Lex where um Lex had uh, the, the penultimate issue where Lex calls in the favor after Lois realized he knew about our world at war he knew okay it was coming that the destruction mm -hmm. was going to happen. And she was ready to bring it down. He didn't call him the favor. But you know what Lois did? Gave it to Clark and had him print it. The deal was she yeah, could print yeah. it. Yeah, you, you didn't say you didn't say my husband but, didn't do it. But um, Lex retaliated. So Lo and Perry fired Clark. But it turns out, you know why he fired him? Mm. Well, so that he can then secretly be trying to undermine Lex from um, uh, you know on under the radar. That's cool. But yeah, but the fact that Lois made a deal with the devil to get the planet back. Mm -hmm. You got to be honest. And the fact is no one, not even Clark knew. Mm -hmm. No one knew until that, until eventually he called the favor out. Because mm -hmm. as far as she was concerned, it's like, no one needs to know that I made this deal. Because mm -hmm. it's, there's more, more benefits than there is punishment. Mm -hmm. I don't have to live with it. But she's able to make that sacrifice of living with that the knowledge that she had to go beg to go to Lex. No, she didn't beg, but she went to Lex for it. Yeah. But I give her, you gotta be honest, that's awesome for Lois, wouldn't you say, to make it to pull something like that? Mm-hmm. Still not gonna make me like Lois Lane, dude. I know you're trying to. It's and not you're gonna still work. not gonna convince, and you're not gonna convince me that Superman and Wonder Woman are the best couple. In my eyes, they're not. If they're on an uh, alternate Earth, to be clear, I, will, I can accept. Earth. I can accept that. But from what everything I've seen was post crisis onward, never. They are good until, friends until post crisis was wiped out and brought in with the new Fifty Two, and, they and changed then it was brought it. back. And then it was brought back, and then we got where DC is now. Which I have been enjoying still. I still have been enjoying it. There's it's stuff I've been enjoying. Let me put it to you this way. Because as a Green Lantern fan, I've been eating a feast, my friend. Superman's been amazing. Come on, Wait, how's so the Brainiac? Okay. As soon as we got away from Rebirth, Superman got good. Well, I, I, obviously, we had the I dark would, times with I Bendis. Still, I would still argue. I, oh, yeah. You had Rebirth, then you had Bendis. You guys still say Rebirth was still better than Bendis' stuff. No, because Rebirth was vindictive as hell. So I was like, I'd rather take yep. the Bendis stuff. All right. But still, but from Philip Kennedy Johnson on. Philip Kennedy Johnson is, my, is one of my favorite Superman writers. It's one of my favorite fact, comic book writers ever. I am still so glad that William. I would you would not believe how much my jaw dropped when when the, um, Williamson brought back Lena Lutz. I was like. Yeah. And her having the Brainiac symbol still on her forehead and everything. I was like, that's what that was. I was wondering what that was. Yeah, because he gave her the Brainiac. Okay, that makes during, sense. Um, during um, the 
Y2K arc, and then Brainiac eventually used her during Our Worlds at War. Then by the end of Our Worlds at War, she got reverted back to a baby. And then that was the last we ever saw of her until now. Wow, that is really People cool. thought that they erased her, kind of like they eventually erased um, Sam Lane and Sam Lane, um, that, uh, sorry, Sam Troop. That was when Lucy and Ron were married. Mm -hmm. You do know that, right? Lucy and Ron no. Troop. Yeah, they had a kid. Mm. Completely gone. Wow. Thanks to Jeff Johns did that one. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and because I, I like those two. In fact, they had it be that um, Sam was special needs, but not badly special needs. We, we, I showed you it, remember? Yeah. When we went over Rucka's run. Yeah, I think so. That was the last time we ever saw him. Okay, that makes because sense. Then, because then Lucy turned out she went into the military and didn't care about her whole life because she's trying to impress Daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That I'm like, what the fuck, Jeff? What the fuck were you doing to Lucy? <laughs> you gotta be honest, that's stupid. It runs in the Lane family. I'm like, but, but Lucy <laughs> was never like that. Okay. Yeah, in fact, yeah. they even had it even had it be that Lucy looked badly upon her time with Ron because she looked at that I married Ron, who worked at the planet because I was trying to be as close to being like Lois. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Yeah, it is. That is not Lucy at all. She was never like that, but they did that just to make an excuse about her going in. And it turns out she was in the military during Amazon's attack. Mm -hmm. Again, stupid. Let's say about that event, the better. And I love how DC has the nerve to do another event called Amazon's uh, Attack. Funny enough, you know what Josie Campbell told me? What? She originally wanted to put in the bees, my God, a bee weapon. <laughs> but the editorial kept telling her no. Oh, she, my gosh. She admitted she kept trying to slip it in, but they kept saying no. That would be hilarious. Oh, my she God. She knew. She knew. That's why I like Josie. She is a diehard fan. I mean, you know she's the main writer on my event of the Superman. Mm -hmm. She is a big burn fan, big post crisis fan. Yeah, no wonder that that show annoys me so much. I'm like, <laughs> no wonder. I was wondering about that. <laughs> yeah, but you do know that they they made no secret that they were a fan of the burn era. Yeah, they made no secret whatsoever. Yeah. Although, funny enough, you want to know what the League of Lois is based off of? The Council you mean of Reeds. Personal Reed. hell. The Council of Reeds. This is the one time where Mar Marvel should not have copied, DC should not have copied from, D from Marvel. You do also know that technically that's where the Council of Ricks came from, right? From Rick and Morty. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, the, when, when my co-host and I were reviewing that episode, I had my teeth grit the entire episode. Oh, they, oh, like, oh, shit. That's where my Lois Lame thing came from. <laughs> Mixel flick. I was like, okay, that's funny. I'm using that. <laughs> now, <coughs> I did give a that bit of criticism on how that just it wasn't Hannibal and she hadn't owned up she's like yeah I admit we could have done that better the whole bit of making it seem like it's almost guaranteed Superman's going to go evil even yeah did. I was like wait a second here but, then she, <laughs> but she did say well that's where all these Loises came from okay but that kind of makes sense but Here's the thing. They didn't do enough, at least, to show there were good Superman out there. Oh, no, and she, and she admitted that. Yeah. She did By admit the way, that. my favorite thing about that show, I'll admit this was the fun part. When Clark revealed his identity to her and Lois had that reaction, I loved how everyone on Twitter was bashing Lois Lane. I'm like, I'm with my people! But then people had to point out, you do realize she's done this before. Yeah, I know. I'm and then they people. calm down. And then they calm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because but, but that, a brief these, moment, I but, had my people. You only had those people because clearly those people never read most of the Lois Lane comics. Mm-hmm. Okay, but anyway, the last question, artwork. What did you think about the artwork? Start Solid all artwork. Solid. And it I flowed, did, didn't my it? My favorite image is of Superman, but he's like dematerialized him outside the suit. It looks like he basically... Fine, he, but in that, in that last issue, in that last yeah, issue? Or like when he's in the snow. Oh, yeah, that one. Because I'm sorry. That just looked awesome. Oh, it did. It did. Hold on. Let me get back to it, too. That's uh, what I will say about post-crisis. I may not like a lot of the creative decisions done during this era. I do love the art. 100%. You mean, like, in this moment? Or you mean... Um... The one where, where he first crash lands in the 
fortress in oh, it, oh. And, and you see like it's kind of flowing. Oh yeah, that one, the energy being one. Yeah, I love that image. And, and again, I may not like the story decisions for a lot of post-crisis books. I love the art. Yeah, definitely. And again, friends, he's a perfect matchup because yeah. he's no, he's best known for Spider Girl, right? And you can definitely I tell. Know. His jagged, you know, jaw lines. He does yeah. that for almost every, especially the females. He always gives them jagged jaw lines. Mm -hmm. I see. But yeah, the, 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 all these images are cool. I like this. Yep. And you prefer this, where it looked like that? I, they, if they had kept that, but still put the S on, I would have been fine with that. Yep, but I said it wanted to look like lightning. Yeah, still, you, you, you could still have that, but I, I was like, I think it looks cooler w with the wires and the S. Yep. But yeah, what is, but the fact is, it's supposed to be a new Superman for a new generation. Sure, sure. That lasted long. Shortest it, generation. It, 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 it did last about as long as the return, the reign. No, the entire death and return. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit longer, but. But again, yeah, again, this is good. But yeah, we're going to continue on with this. Trust me, I've already gone over all of it. So next time I have Jared on, we're going to come back and we see where else this goes. Oh, boy. This is My problem, but the, I will give this a one problem is that, though, this one at least, you had a good cutoff point. Him having the powers. Going forward, I have to figure out where to cut off. Okay. You get I my guess. issue with that, right? It's like, uh, okay. Because like, you already saw throughout this. Look how much this just flowed. Yeah. Again, I think they had one good uh, good cutoff point because mm -hmm. he got the costume. Where's the next cutoff point? Yeah. Ugh. Oh, by the way, here's an example of the next artwork. Oh, Stuart yes. Eminem. Stuart Eminem. What is oh, these? oh, yes. But one downside, his artwork clashes with the others. I mean, look at this. Right off the bat, does this already clash? I like it. Oh, I like it. But would you agree still that this is where it's already going to clash with what you saw before? A little bit. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, just look at it. Isn't that awesome? So badass. Blood and thunder. It'd be hilarious <laughs> if I'm going to end on this shot. <laughs> it would be hilarious <laughs> if, in the event the DCU actually advances past Superman Legacy, if they, he eventually puts corn sweat in the blue suit. <laughs> but, um,. Oh, yeah, like I said, next time we'll eventually go over this. Yes. But until then, see you guys on the next one. Take care.